Here's a list of things that are cute. Puppies. Kittens. In fact, just baby animals on a whole. Films about a guy and a girl who meet but the girl has a boyfriend who isn't as good as the guy she just met so she comes to the realisation that she's better off with the new guy than the old and she leaves her current boyfriend to be happily ever after with the new one. Some people find that cute. And lastly, Pikachu. No, oh, look at Pikachu, isn't he not cute? Oh. But here's one thing, Aaron should not be on this list. You know how many times I've been hearing, oh Aaron, you're so cute. Oh Aaron, you're so cute. Oh no, no, I am not. What am I? A puppy in a Superman costume? Watching that is cute. But how in the heffle am I in the same category as a puppy in a Superman suit? I bet some of you are saying, well, what's wrong with being cute, Aaron? Well, let me tell you what's wrong with being cute. You always get put in that very lonely friend zone. For years and throughout my school years, I got friend zoned time after time after time. Now, seeing as it's coming up to Valentine's Day, I thought I would share a story that happened to me in school. So I have a good friend of mine called Nick. We grew up in school together. So we must have been having dinner and eating and I threw a question at him and asked, so uh, Nick, is there a girl that you're feeling at school at the moment? The reason that I was asking him that is because I had somebody in school that I liked. So he says to me, uh, yeah, I, I like her. Okay, okay. Yeah, she's she pretty, she, she nice, she nice. What about you? And I said, yes, I like her she's so pretty and so loving she's so nice and yes yeah, she, she likes somebody else <gasps> what? I was fuming because the boy that she liked was one of the most troublemaking guys in the school me and this girl we were good friends and when I found out this devastating news I did not want to talk to her again being petty you might say well bingo you got that answer right i was a hurt emotional wreck of a boy get this the guy that she liked didn't like like her so i liked liked her but she didn't like like me she liked like the other guy but the other guy didn't like like her oh and in the midst of all of this there was a girl that liked liked me but I didn't like like her. I was not interested in her. Oh no, no, no. I didn't care. I wanted her. <laughs> anyway, I digress. One day my class is going on a trip and the girl that I liked like came up to me and said, hey Aaron, do you mind if I sit next to you because the stupid guy she liked isn't here. So do you mind? And me being all excited because she actually wants to sit next to me said yes, 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 I, I mean, yeah, 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 sure, that's cool, yeah, whatever, yeah, that's cool, yeah, that's fine. Now, I bet you're thinking, well, Aaron, you were just a second choice. And bingo, you got that right again. However, my younger self did not care. The fact that I was an option gave me the hope something could happen eventually. And it never did. We left school and she never liked me, but that's cool. It's not like I was crying under my bed every day during the summer knowing that I would never see her again and tell her my true feelings. <clears throat> true feelings. If the girl I'm talking about in this story is watching this video and remembers this story, now you know. But I don't care now. I mean, I'm over it. Plus, I'm engaged, man! That's only one of my stories about being friend zoned. There's a few more, but I'll save them for another time. Now, if you're thinking, oh, poor Az is so cute, can't get love. Firstly, keep your sympathy. I don't want it. Secondly, find a bridge, admire the view, and throw yourself off it. You do me a favor.
no i'm joking stay around love me i love you like this video subscribe to my channel i would really really appreciate it you guys are great